Tonight, the family of the Chattanooga police officer hit and killed is preparing for a day in court tomorrow. The woman charged with killing their son will be in court where she is expected to plead not guilty. Kylie Thomas joins us now live to tell us the concerns for the Gallinger family. Kylie. Janet Hines will be in court tomorrow morning. It's going to be the first time that the Gallagher family and the Hines family meet face to face since this deadly hit and run. And you can see tonight here on Hamill Road that Officer Gallagher's badge number 1016 now marks the spot where he was killed. Hundreds of people find themselves on the second floor of the Hamilton County Courthouse. It's going to be hard. I don't know if I can watch sit through the whole thing. Barry Gallinger is added to that list. He's expecting a whirlwind of emotions as he walks through those courtroom doors tomorrow. The cameras, body camera, car camera, if they do, I don't know when that comes about. That's going to be hard to watch. The Gallingers want to face Janet Hines in person. She's charged with their son's death. Officer Nicholas Gallinger wore his badge with pride. Now, badge 1016 is etched into a cross. Two planks of painted wood mark the spot that he was killed. 1016 is down. Oh my God, we're not getting any word from him. Officer Nicholas Gallinger. Officer Gallinger's last call plays on loop in his father's mind. Behind attorney says, the deadly hit and run was an unavoidable accident. He says there should have been more signs alerting drivers of the manhole. Her attorney goes on to say that the city's lack of signage, lighting, and more led to the death of Officer Gallinger, not Hines herself. That's the hardest part we're trying to get over, try to get over with is why. An ending that the Gallingers don't believe. We also reached out to Chattanooga's Public Works to learn more about the safety measures they're taking to alert drivers like Hines of this manhole you see here behind me. They say they cannot comment directly about her attorney's claims. That's because this is very much an ongoing investigation. Live in Hickson, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Kylie, thank you. Hines' attorneys asked for a bond reduction last week from $300,000 to $35,000. The state filed a response saying she was a flight risk since police say she did not stop the night of that incident.